how we got the name. We'll start with that. High Fives Foundation, we're a 501c3 national nonprofit organization. We have a mission to prevent life-changing injuries and provide resources and hope if they happen. We believe that we're the safety net of the outdoor sports community. How can we get you back out into sport? Sport's a byproduct of community, and when community and sport come together, we create new connections with folks. And that's, that's the secret sauce. That, that's High Five's secret sauce, it's our own honor. Every day you'll see them come in and, and kind of share tricks they're learning as far as, you know, how to live a more functional, efficient life. We are a community. We're, we're an outlet. We're a, a support system for a lot of these athletes. So athlete is the term that we use to define the people that we support. The term grantee, recipient, it just seems like there's such a disconnect. We support anyone with a goal. And I believe an athlete is an individual with a goal. And I believe when a foundation awards you something and calls you an athlete again, your mental health goes up. You achieve that goal, it goes up. You get another grant and it keeps going. And I think those are the ways that you can use terms to help people redefine who they are. And that's what we do with the term athlete. The name, well the name came from my own accident, which is the formation of the organization as well. After I sustained a spinal cord injury in 2006, and the surgeon, after successfully surgery, came in the next day and it sounded really good to me. And I didn't know what else to do other than to put my hand up like this. The surgeon had no clue what to do. It felt like five minutes. It was probably like five seconds, to be honest. And so the name came about years later when I was trying to figure out how could we talk about high fives and the work we do through that name. Well, a high five is an exchange of positivity and that's what I wanted to do with that doctor that day. And when he didn't know, well then I use that as my way of introducing myself to every single person on my journey of recovery. So it just seemed fitting to name the foundation after that. But the name came actually from like the worst deny of all time. So left me hanging. We're shooting this video here in the C.R. Johnson Healing Center. It's one of the three program services of High Fives. It's a 4,000 square foot facility that offers every different type of modality of healing that we see fitting for the best recovery for the athletes that we serve. And C.R. and I always talked about, what if we could go to physical therapy and not have it smell like a hospital? How could we make it so that our progression and recovery felt like we were making a step forward and not a step backward as we were continually going back to that place, the hospital, to receive our treatment. What if we could create a space that felt like you were moving forward? That's really a big part of what we do here with inside the CR Johnson training facility. We offer these training sessions not just to help them improve physically within the confinement of the gym, but to help them accomplish goals outside of the gym. So when they step foot in here or roll in here, they're able to start actively pursuing a goal that's going to uh, get them back to adaptive sports. We got the Easy Stand Glider uh, a few weeks ago. We set it up. The setup was easy, it was smooth. I've fallen in love with it from a training perspective. We had a older standing frame in here prior to this one. Um, and this, the functionality that this one provides is through the roof. Obviously, getting any athlete standing who's chair bound for long periods of time is a game changer, but to be able to add the nuances and the intricacies of moving the arms and the legs actively, sink, uh, sinking that movement together, to almost bring back a uh, similar movement to walking has been awesome. Not just from a physical standpoint for these athletes, but mentally, right? Like getting them up, getting them vertical, having them look you eye to eye, eye, to eye getting their legs moving back and forth, stretching out their hip flexors has been huge. 
what y'all have provided to this space because we're a one-on-one -on -one workout. We get to use that piece of equipment, I think, in unique ways that probably haven't been seen before because we have a creative trainer, we have athletes that like do not believe in barriers or limitations, and that combined together with a piece of machinery that literally gives you new legs for a period of time that you're in it, you can really create creative workouts in that space. It's one of our core values, human care. I believe that if you care for the human being, you're gonna see financial, health, all those other things that people make about what is being a human being, a part of their life, they'll all be successful. Working with you guys, that human care element is now seen through creative new ways to recover.